Hey guys, welcome back. Today I would like to show you two brand new everyday carry flashlights from none other than Olight. A few weeks ago they sent me the i3T EOS, which is a AAA tail switch flashlight. And last week in the mail I got the M1T Raider, which comes out this Friday. This is a really sweet flashlight. It is a CR123A flashlight, and it's kind of the big brother to the i3T, so here they are. So I'm sitting here editing the video, and uh, throughout this video, which was, you know, shot overhead, one take style, I continually called this flashlight the MIT Raider. It's the M1T Raider. I just need to clarify that. I know that. I've been calling it the M1T Raider for a week now, and for some reason, my brain defaulted to MIT Raider. So, just to clarify, M1T Raider. No matter how many times I call it the MIT Raider, it's the M1T. So here we are, we are back with two more Olight flashlights. These are brand new flashlights. A few weeks ago, I talked about the Olight R50 Pro Seeker, which was on the Modern Outdoor Dweller channel. I believe I'm gonna be doing all flashlight stuff here on the Best M EDC moving forward. And because of that, I've got these two flashlights here. The i3T EOS came out a few weeks ago. I posted about it on the Mod website and posted some pictures of it as well. And then we have the MIT Raider, which is not out yet. It's actually launching this Friday with Olight's Elite Sale, which happens, starts on July 27th, and it lasts throughout the weekend. I'll have a little more detail about that at the end of the video. But you will be able to get this flashlight, the MIT Raider, at a discount at launch. So you're not gonna be paying full retail. You're gonna actually get it at a discount from the very get-go, which is kind of nice. But as you can see, these two flashlights are very similar in design, pretty similar in size and specs and everything, a lot is very, very similar about these flashlights, but they are very different. They're built for different things, they have different purposes, and they are very much different flashlights. Just really quick before we get too far into it, I wanna give you some size comparisons here with some pretty common objects and even the flashlight that I reviewed on the channel uh, last week or the week before. Here's the Rovi Von Aurora A3. Here is a lighter and some lip balm. So you get kind of a feel for how big these flashlights are or really how small they are, they're pretty small flashlights. In the box, there are not gonna be too many differences here in what you get. They do come with the batteries installed. You have to remove a little protective film. They have the pocket clips pre-installed and with the MIT Raider, you're also gonna get a standard Olight Little strap also has a little threader there to help you thread this through the tiny, tiny hole. I don't normally use these wrist straps, so that's going to the side for me. Let's get started with these flashlights and talk about really the similarities first, and then we'll get into the differences. One of the first things you're going to notice about these flashlights is they both have the new double helix knurling for grip on their bodies, which is really, it's really quite nice. I love how it, it feels in the hand and it does actually give you a pretty good grip. One difference there is that the M1T has vertical lines or stippling throughout the double helix and the i3T does not. Uh, this one's smooth, this one is much, much more grippy, I guess. They both also have stippled tail switches which have a very, very clicky feel to them. And really, that is one of the standout features of these. That is a very tactile switch on both of the flashlights. It just has a really nice little stippling to it and feels great. And the other thing is that they've got these dual direction clips on them, which allows you to carry uh, bezel down in your pocket. You can also clip it the other way if you'd like and have bezel up and tail switch down, or you can clip this to the brim of your hat. And that's that's probably my favorite feature of these new Olights is the dual direction clip. You can also tell that they're very similar in length. The i3T is just 3.5 inches long and the M1T is 3.6 and that's 89 and 91.5 millimeters respectively. So very similar in length. They are obviously very different in diameter, which we'll get to. Both of these flashlights also have TIR optic lenses. They are IPX8 certified for water resistance and 1.5 meter impact resistance rated. And that is about where the similarities for these two flashlights end. Let's talk i3T EOS. It's the smaller sibling to the M1T. It's obviously the older one and it is much smaller in diameter, 0.59 inches or roughly 15 millimeters. So just over half an inch thick. And that is because it's powered by a single AAA battery which is something that a lot of flashlight people love. They love their AAA flashlights. This one weighs in at just 1.45 ounces. That's 41 grams, super lightweight, very small, compact, disappears in the pocket. The LED used on this one is the Philips Luxion TX LED. That's gonna give you up to 180 lumens. It has two modes and that's either five or 180 lumens. 
and a throw, a maximum throw of about 60 meters. That 180 lumens, so on the high mode, you're gonna get about 21 minutes of runtime on a single AAA, and on the low mode, five lumens, it'll last for roughly 16 hours. So this one is much smaller, very compact, fairly bright flashlight that runs on a AAA. So the M1T Raider is much beefier than the i3T, and it's a little more tactical. It's got this blue crenulated bezel, the vertical lines through the double helix, and it's just got a little more tactical look to it, and it's a little bigger, beefier, with a longer runtime and a brighter light. Inside this one, you do not have a AAA or a standard battery, I guess. It is a pretty standard in the flashlight world, a CR123A battery. This one is not rechargeable, but you can also get an RCR123A battery. But beware, because the RCR123A will actually cut your runtime in half, or roughly in half, and you'll spend less over time, but you're gonna get less use out of each battery. So it's a trade-off. And personally, I go with rechargeable because I hate disposable batteries. But because of that CR123A battery, this one is 0.83 inches in diameter, it's 21 millimeters, and it's 2.29 ounces or 65 grams, and that does include the battery. The LED in this flashlight is the Luminous SST40, and that's in cool white. That SST40 LED will give you a maximum output of 500 lumens with a 97 meter throw, and you also have two modes here. Low, which is five lumens, high, which is 500 lumens, and then you're only gonna get that for about five minutes, and then it drops down to 300 lumens. Your run times for that is gonna be five minutes at 500, and then once it drops down to 300 lumens, that'll run for 120 minutes. And at just five lumens, you're gonna get 100 hours of use out of this single battery, which is pretty insane. That is a really, really long time. It is not very bright, five lumens is a very dim light, but if you need it for, I don't know, reading in an emergency or just getting around the house in a power outage, five lumens is gonna be plenty and you're gonna get 100 hours out of that, that's crazy. Other than their maximum outputs, the major difference in these two flashlights is what they're designed to do, how they work. Like I said, this one is more of your everyday carry flashlight, whereas the MIT is more of a tactical purpose. And what that means is that they work differently. Yes, they're both tail switch flashlights, but they work in almost the opposite way. The i3T, for example, when you just press the tail switch, not all the way, just a soft press, it turns on to the low mode, that's five lumens, and then to get the high mode, you have to double press the tail switch, and then you can fully click to have that constant on. So low first, high second, no memory, it's always low first, high second. The MIT Raider is the opposite of that. The momentary switch, if you just depress it a little bit, you get the high mode, 500 lumens, and to get the low mode, you have to double press you get the five lumens and then constant on just fully click on either one to get it constant on so they literally work in the opposite way low mode high mode and then to get to high mode double press low mode double press so literally the opposite personally in in my everyday carry use i would probably prefer the low mode first because it's going to preserve that battery a little better in a tactical situation of course you would probably want high first so yeah it makes perfect sense I personally, as an everyday carry option, would prefer the low mode because most of the time I'm just peeking at something really quickly, looking under something and needing just a little bit of extra light, and I prefer to preserve that battery as long as I possibly can. The other major difference is going to be your price. The i3T, which is out right now, you can get on Amazon or directly from Olight for just $19.99. That's it. $19.99, pretty solid flashlight for a pretty fair price. The MIT Raider, on the other hand, is going to be double that. It's $39.99. It comes out this Friday, so it's not available just yet, but you will be able to get it starting this weekend. And if you buy it from Olight this weekend, you'll be getting it on sale. You can get it for $27.99, so 30% off and that's not a bad deal. The sale starts at July 27 at midnight Eastern time and you have the entire weekend to get this thing at a discount rather than paying the full price. After that, it goes up to 40 bucks. But when it comes to these two flashlights, I would carry these differently. This would be my everyday carry, throw it in my pocket, forget about it, use it when I need it. This flashlight would probably more likely go in my camera bag because it is a little too bulky for my pocket, my personal carries are really small, compact. This one is a little beefy for that. So this one would probably go in a backpack or in uh, my, the console, the center console of my truck, something like that. That's where this flashlight would go because you throw that battery in there and that flashlight is good to go when you need it. And this one with a AAA, if you ever run out and you're out and about and you need a flashlight, just 
Also another AAA in it. So there you have it. Two brand new flashlights from Olight, everyday carry flashlights. They're really honestly exactly what you would expect from Olight at this point. The anodized aluminum is great. I love the direction with the new design, the double helix. It's really great. Feels great in the hand. And honestly, two solid, solid flashlights from Olight. And that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. We've already hit 7,000 subscribers here. So thank you, seriously. And if you think anybody you know would like these flashlights or the content here I produce on Best Damn EDC, be sure to share it with them and subscribe, hit the notification button, and of course hit the thumbs up button. All of that stuff helps. And if you do think these are pretty cool flashlights and would like to check them out, click the links in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. So if you click through and buy anything, we get a little bit of a kickback and that's just a, your way of supporting us. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it just helps keep the lights on here and makes all of this stuff possible. So thank you. And if you'd like to find us around the web, you can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at Best Damn EDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And of course, my second channel is Modern Outdoor Dweller. You can find it around the web at Mod Outdoor. So with all that said, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, carry on.